guys, today I'm going to try something new. <clears throat> I'm going to do a handmade haul video. I realized as a crafter I have the privilege of going to about a dozen craft shows a year as a vendor or as a talent scout for uh, the shows that I put together. So I thought I would show you some of my favorite recent handmade purchases and do a little bit of an unboxing video for you as well. Uh, I it was actually a couple months ago. I've been holding on to this bag um, from The Wild. She had a sale over the summer and I decided to stock up on Christmas presents, so don't tell my kids. Uh, I won't show them this video, but I've been holding on to this bag because I opened it and it looks like she has some beautiful little packaging inside and I wanted to do this live, but I've been waiting to reveal the vendor list for Burlington Made because I wanted to be able to tell you that Adrienne from the Wild will be at Burlington Made on December 9th. So if you're in the uh, Toronto area in Ontario, um, come out and come to the show because a couple of these uh, makers will be there. Uh, yeah, and I was just super excited. So, I'm gonna open this. So she's got this gorgeous packaging inside. Look, oh, that cute little washi tape, okay. Now again, I had to wait until the kids went to school because I didn't want them to see, but I was so excited for her sale that I picked up a couple things that I'm gonna give them. Oh, look. She has the best packaging. She does this little card, handwritten card, and beautiful little postcard keepsake. Uh, and it's been a little while, so I kind of forgot what I ordered. But look at this. She does um, illustrations of little animals and makes modern children's wear out of it. She silk screen everything herself in her home. This is a little sloth. I love it. I forget which ones are for my kids and which ones are gifts for other people's kids, but I'll just pick all over again. Look at that cute little owl. Oh, I love it. And the fabric's so nice and soft and thick. Okay, what else did I get? And I got another one of the same ones. This must be this must be one I bought for a gift for someone else. Or my kids are gonna be twinning. We'll see. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys this stuff. And if you love it too, Burlington made on December 9th, they'll be there. And you can pick up some clothes. They're just great gender neutral, um, modern shirts that you can pass down, even if you have a boy and a girl. Um, and they're in neutral colors, so they go with everything. And I'm super excited about those. Okay. Ah. Okay. So, here are a few of my other favorite items that I've picked up from my last few craft shows. Um, this is actually from a little while ago, but I love it and I can't stop staring at it. This is, what, how do they do this? Um, like that. This is a necklace, a pendant from Wild Blue Yonder um, in Hamilton. I discovered her last year, I think, and um, she came to my Christmas craft show. Um, and she'll be at both my shows this year, actually. So both at the St. George's Night Market and um, on November 24th and Burlington made on December 9th. And she, just look at the detail in it. It's all just little pieces of nature encased in rosin. And um, I just love how smooth and what a unique shape it is. And, um, yeah, it's just all these little these little pieces of nature from her hikes, and I'm not even an outdoorsy person. This is about as outdoorsy as I get, but 
Um, I love it because when I'm bored I just sit and stare at it. Um, and it's really smooth and soft on the other side, kind of like a worry stone. Um, but it just looks lacy and feminine, but still unique and outdoorsy and very modern. Um, and I love it, and I wear it all the time. It's a great statement piece when uh, I'm just feeling creative enough to wear a black shirt and a pair of jeans, and it goes with everything. Um, because nature colors kind of go with everything, and I love it. And I can't stop wearing it, and I'm super excited about it. And... Another piece that I bought from the Makeology show recently are these, <laughs> trying to get my hands on them, are these little earrings from, I hope I don't pronounce this incorrectly, Cat Mamola. Um, I'm going to post links to all these makers um, in the description box below so you can grab some too if you want. But these are cute little porcelain earrings that she then hand paints and glazes. Um, in the Pottery Studio at the Art Gallery of Burlington right here. Um, and just that gold, this matte gold, I love. And the colors don't go with every outfit, but I still find I wear them a lot. Um, and I just, I don't know, ceramic earrings. They're just a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Okay, and this is, I buy a lot of food at shows because <laughs> um, they're small, easy impulse buys and after a long day at, as a vendor at a show, um, I like to take home a little souvenir but I don't have the mental capacity to make big decisions. Um, this is one that I picked up, I think also at the Makeology show. Um, I love these guys, Tea at the White House. I wonder if I can get the camera to focus, there we go. Tea at the White House. Um, this is just like a basic Earl Grey, because my husband and I like Earl Grey. I like London Fogs in the morning sometimes, um, and this was a few months ago, so I'm almost out, so I wonder if you can see. No, not very well, but it's so fragrant, and the leaves of this tea, and I drink a lot of tea, um, the leaves of this tea, they're just so dark, and... They're like big leaves, not not powdery, not cut up. Um, it's just, I was using up an older bag of Earl Grey, um, so I did half a cup from that and then half a teaspoon from this um, to make up a full cup. And the difference in the color and the fragrance and the size of the leaves was huge. Um, and Tea at the White House just opened a new... Um, retail and it will soon be opening um, a little tea shop in Waterdown. So if you're again in the area, come out and support this little company. They make great tea and scones. Um, yeah, I love their scones, but I don't have any to show you because I ate them right away. Uh, okay, and then last but not least, this, yay, this is one of my big exciting purchases from this uh, when did I get it? In the summer. This is a custom backpack that I ordered from Buku. B-O-O-K-H-O-U. Buku? Boku? I don't know. But <laughs> I love her work and I see it in print all the time. I just never really thought that hard about how to pronounce it. Um, these cute little thin leather straps, waxed canvas. So I think it's kind of water resistant, but I don't like to wear it in the rain. But Aruna makes these beautiful silk screened original patterns. Uh, oh, there's the name right there. That cute little tag right there. Why aren't you focusing? There you go. Um, and it's got these nice big deep pockets. I think I use one for my cell phone, one for snacks, because I'm always out with the kids. And then two more big deep pockets inside for, um, I think I keep my wallet and tissues and stuff in there. Band-aids, all the other stuff I need when I'm out. Um, and it's lined in this nice light canvas, um, which I know a lot of people don't like because it gets um, discolored, but I like it because then I can find stuff at the bottom of my bag and I always am losing things at the bottom of my bag. So, the thing that I love about this also is that, see how it's short and wide? Um, I just thought that it was like modern and unique and different and people have already given me compliments or recognized this bag, but 
Uh, I'm 5'2", and I've got a short torso, so um, every time I wear a backpack, which I wear backpacks a lot when we go out to outdoor craft shows or things where we're just going to be out for a day trip or Niagara on the Lake or something, um, and whenever I wear a normal backpack, a backpack size for a normal sized adult, um, it's always kind of like dragging on my bum and banging on my bum. So um, this is great because, you know, it, I think it looks great on taller people too, but for me, it actually fits in the small of my back, um, which is just so much more comfortable. Um, yeah, so I had her custom make it in this color la in this colorway for me, and uh, she was so nice about it. I picked it up at her gorgeous little boutique in Toronto. So definitely give it a visit, visit and a look. Um, she's got just gorgeous geometric um, screen printed patterns. And all different kinds of bags, pouches, um, maybe some other home goods. She's got a couple other makers in her store too. So I loved that. That was a great field trip into Toronto to go and pick that up. And yeah, that's all the stuff I've got today. So let me know what you think of this handmade haul video. Should I make more? Um, what did you like? Who was your favorite maker um, so far? Uh, I had a lot of fun making this and unbagging with you guys. Um, yeah, so who do you want me to look at next? Who do you want me to review? And if uh, you are a maker and want me to review your stuff, send me a quick line. I love to take a look at it. Fair warning, I will be 100% honest in my um, review, but I'll only post it if if it's uh, positive. If you guys want to help support my YouTube channel and be a part of the handmade movement, um, give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would be huge. Uh, yeah, and let me know what you think in the comments below. So thanks so much uh, for watching and I'll see you again soon.